Hey, what, what's going on you guys? So today is another one of those, uh, we'll just call it raw and uncut vlog posts. Didn't really have time to sit down and put one together. It was a crazy day at work and after work I was pretty tied up with stuff. So I'm resorting to the cheating method and hopefully you don't mind. Wanted to talk a little bit today about the setup that I'm using today. And that is um, something that I wanted to highlight in past vlog posts. And that's using legacy glass on the Olympus mirrorless cameras. What's really cool about it is that the older lenses, the coatings on them, if they even had coatings, uh, they, weren't, they weren't as advanced as they are now. So they weren't quite as good at reducing flare and ghosting and things like that. And I know a lot of people will see that or hear me mention that and think oh that's awful you know who wants ghosting who wants flare well sometimes you want an analog feel and the easiest way to get it in a digital world sometimes is to resort back to lenses that were designed for the analog cameras right and so today i was shooting with this is a minolta roker x 50 millimeter f 1.4 uh, i picked this lens up from a goodwill store uh, it was a local Goodwill store, just happened to have it, and I got the lens for $15. So, show me where you can get a 50mm f1.4 these days for 15 bucks. Well, at a Goodwill store, I guess that's how you do it. I'm using this uh, cheap adapter I got on uh, Amazon, it's by a company called Fotasy, F-O-T-A-S-Y. I also use the, the brand Photodiox. I love Photodiox products, and I'll actually put a link to, um, to find them on Amazon in the bottom of this video. How about that? Uh, everything that Photodiox makes that I've used so far has been killer, and for the price, you can't even, you can't beat it. But anyways, so what I was shooting today with this setup uh, were actually flowers out in our yard. Uh, spring has kind of slowly started to spring i guess here in michigan so i was doing flower portraits today with the pen f and if you remember yesterday's vlog post i talked about setting a function button to magnify right another tip that i can offer for people that even gives you another level of um of accuracy when it comes to manually focusing is if you have multiple function buttons on your camera so like I've got function one button right here. And then on the front of the camera down here, this button would normally be assigned to depth of field preview on this camera, but I don't use depth of field preview. Um, so I reassigned it and set it to focus peaking. Now you're probably thinking, okay, we'll just use focus peaking for manually focusing these lenses, right? Well, Sometimes what I like to do, especially if I'm shooting people and I want their eyes really sharp, what I'll do is hit function one to magnify the view and then turn on focus peaking. So yes, you can have focus peaking and magnify on at the same time. And that really, really gives you a high degree of accuracy when it comes to manually focusing. And again, you know, just kind of another one of those tips that I wanted to share. Um, Yep, so the dogs are going crazy in the neighborhood. I guess I can uh, end the video here and just thank you guys for tuning in and watching the vlogs. And hopefully you don't mind the uh, quick, down and dirty, uncut, unedited uh, vlog posts from my phone. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow.